हेलो लर्नर्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द सिलेबस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एट सीनियर सेकेंडरी लेवल द इंटायर सिलेबस इंक्लूड्स द फोर ब्रांचेज ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स दैट इज इंडियन इकोनॉमी स्टैटिस्टिक्स माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स एंड मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स Besides this, the entire syllabus is divided into eleven modules, and each and every module includes, on an average, two or three chapters. The total number of chapter is twenty-nine. So, just I am giving description about the modules and the chapters and the topics which we include in our various modules. the first module is the introduction to economic development under which we will see that the overview of economics and the meaning of developed and developed economy second module talks about the current challenges of indian economy under which we will study about the planning economic planning in india and the current challenges like poverty unemployment inequality etc the third module talks about the introduction to statistics under which we will see that what is the role of statistics in economics and how statistics has been the compulsory part of the study of economics number 4 module includes the topic that is known as the tools of a statistic i mean we can say that a statistical tools which includes the topic like measures of central tendency measures of dispersion calculation of and concept of correlation and the fourth topic that is index number so this is the first part of your syllabus now the second book Includes the rest of the module under which we will study about the micro and macro economics. Now the next module includes the topic like introduction to economics and its various branches like micro economics and macro economics. Next to this, we come to the next module that is consumer behavior. The consumer behavior under this module we will study about. the concept of consumer's equilibrium concept of demand and elasticity of demand the next module is producer's behavior under which we will see that how the producer plays an important role in the contribution of providing goods and services to consumers this module includes the concept of production the concept of cost and revenue types of uh, cost of production and under revenue we will study about how revenue is earned by selling of goods and services next to this that module includes the concept of various forms of market and the price determination so under which we will study about the types of market besides this we also study about the price determination of goods and services it means that what is the role of consumer and what is the role of producers and how price is determined by the interaction of both the ingredients of economics next to this we will study about the concept of national income which includes the basic concepts and the aggregates of national income under which we will study the concept of basic problems of the economy and how national income is calculated what are to be included and the various other types the next topic of this module is the estimation of national income in which we will study about the concept of the estimation of national income by all three methods like income method value added method 
and expenditure method. So, this is the entire topics which will be covered under this module. Next to this, we will study about the theory of income and employment. Now, here I must tell you about one thing that is the theory of income and employment was the prevalent concept and the study of microeconomics has been derived from the study of macroeconomics, under which we will see that how income is determined, okay, and what are the various parts of the aggregate demand and aggregate supply. So, theory of income and employment is the very much applicable and implicable concept in the present economy and provides the basis to study the policy of the economy. Next to this, we will see about the next module that is related to money, banking and government budget. In this, we will see that the circulation of money, credit creation policy of the government role of the banking sector, the various uh, division of the banking sector like RBI and the other nationalized banks and the private banks also. Okay? We will study about the functions of the various banks and the role of RBI as a custodian of the banking system. Government budget, the most uh, uh, practicing and recent aspects of the economics that is every year annual budget is prepared and under which we will study about what are the various types of receipt and expenditure of the government and how the government is planning to make expenditure and collect revenue for the proper functioning of the economy. So, this is what about the description of your entire syllabus under which we will study about the different branches which I told you earlier and then we will see that the applicability of the subject in our day to day life that it also help us to utilize the resources in a proper and optimum level of the available resources through which we can be able to reduce the extent of economic problem in our economy. So, if you have any query and if you have any inquiry about the various topics and subject, you can contact me on my mail id sprakas.nios at the rate gmail.com. So, if I receive any query from your side, certainly I will try to satisfy you maximum and give you the complete explanation of the concepts with the practical examples through which you can be able to utilize and implement your knowledge in your daily practices. Thanks a lot. Thank you.